This is project four, Frank Stella curved line assignment. For this assignment, you're gonna need a 12 by 18 piece of paper, preferably white. You're going to need a protractor, um, a pencil, preferably a drawing pencil, and either colored pencils. You're definitely going to need a black marker and you may want to use markers instead of colored pencils for this assignment. All right, let's begin the assignment. You're going to create an abstract pattern in the tradition of Frank Stella. Frank Stella based all of his early paintings on very simple geometric shapes, squares, rectangles, etc. Um, each painting is limited to one or two basic geometric forms. So that's essentially what you're going to do. You're going to pick one or two geometric shapes on which to base your design. On a piece of paper, begin working out the compositions that vary and develop your, your shape in a very orderly, structured way. Um, draw lightly at first, so that if you um, decide that you don't like that particular section, it's easy to erase. The shape of your format may repeat or complement the geometric shapes in the composition. For example, circular shapes may be contained in a large circular format or you can use semicircles and create triangles. Your design can be flat or you can create a three-dimensional effect by changing the scale of your shapes. Remember that overlapping suggests, suggests depth and after developing your composition, use a ruler and a compass to make your hard edge outline of your final design. Then once you have finished your design and you are satisfied with the way your design looks, you want to outline it in black marker. Okay. <clears throat> my protractor, repeated the pattern, and now I am uh, adding lines, straight lines, some curved lines. I think I'll take my protractor here, flip it over, try to get a couple of curves in here, those look interesting. put some serious pressure on that protractor to make it work. I like that. I think I'll add maybe a line over here for interest or what I'll call visual appeal. That works. Once you have your basic design, wait a second. Yeah, we've got that. Maybe I'll add one up here too. There we go. I do to one, I'll do to the other. Okay. shape. I'll outline it with a black marker and then I'll enhance that with color. For this color I used a colored pencil. For the solid I press very very hard. If I would like to do a gradation I'll use dark light, dark to light. Unfortunately, a uh, magic marker does not allow you to do that well, but 
using a magic marker also very much intensifies color. So if I want color here, I'm going to fill that space evenly. And that will definitely put some serious color on that paper. I like that. So you can use a combination of the two or just one. Fill all of your spaces and finish it out. If you use colored pencils and you choose to add value, make sure that your value scale is, is, goes from very dark to light. So your value scale should go from very dark to light. If you use markers, make sure that your markers are flat and that you see the you do not see any spaces or lines in your marker area and the same thing with your colored pencil so everything should be very flat continue to work on your assignment until all areas are completely colored you could use um, a warm color scheme if you wanted to use just certain colors or you could create one with a variety of a rainbow of colors it's purely up to you Remember that your craftsmanship is important. Photograph your assignment on a non-reflective, dark, uncomplicated surface, and then upload this to your portfolio.